the point man for all of this for the military industrial complex, John McCain. Why does he always go and get his picture taken with Al Qaeda and with the neo Nazis? Well, the same reason that the CIA used to work with Noriega before George H.W. Bush started calling him strongman Noriega and invaded Panama. Look, they can go in and get these gangsters, whether it's a drug dealing criminal like Noriega or whether it's these, whether it's Al Qaeda or whether it is uh, the neo Nazis, they can always go in, work with them to overthrow the regime that they want to overthrow. And then because it's so easy to make a case as to how criminal these guys are, they can then easily take them out. It's a perfect mob tactic, and they're doing that over and over again. I'm surprised that these guys on the other side keep falling for that. I mean, but they do use the same MO over and over again, whether it's false flag attacks or whether it's taking some criminal group, making them your ally, using them to overthrow a government, and then turning on that group afterwards. They keep using the same MOs over and over again. One last story before we go back to your calls. Is your home's energy meter spying on you? And this is from Fox News. And this is a story out of, um, uh, where was this? Um, I'm, I'm not seeing the, the place where this is out. But basically, oh, this is out of California. And what they were concerned about is the privacy and the data. And the irony of this, the irony of this is that as they were protesting this, the utility company there started monitoring the the uh, meters uh, and the privacy of the people there who were protesting them, basically fulfilling their concern about it being a, a privacy invasion. And of course, there's many issues with smart meters. It's not just privacy. Many people have raised health issues. An excellent documentary that we carry that shows the effect of these smart meters pulsing. You can actually see insects on a leaf jerking as the, as the smart meter is pulsing. It sends out a lot of energy a lot of people have had a lot have had health problems with it, but you can actually see it with the insects. So it, that's a very real effect, and the privacy issue is a very real effect. As they're pointing here in the uh, article, they're pointing out information gathered from smart meters includes things like unencrypted data, which other people can grab. Right, details showing whether you're when you're away from home, what your typical uh, usage when when you're typically home, when you're away, and then also looking at what kind of Activities you're engaged in. Do you have, uh, are you watching television? Uh, how long are you spending cooking? But more importantly, they point out that police agencies are using this utility data to determine if suspects are maybe growing marijuana in their homes. So they look at it and if they see that you've got a lot of electricity usage, they think that maybe you're growing marijuana at home. You might be doing hydroponics. We've had situations where people were growing hydroponics and all of a sudden they get SWAT teamed. And in a situation like that, those people are probably more likely to get killed by a SWAT team if they, if they have access, do something. They think that their home is being invaded. If they were really criminals that were growing marijuana, and, and I say that lightly, that's the government's definition of a crime. As I mentioned, I don't believe that's a crime, should not be a crime. But those people who are doing something that has been declared illegal by the government, they may be expecting a SWAT team raid. So when somebody kicks in the door, they... Keep it cool, but if somebody is minding their own business, not doing anything that they believe that the government should be concerned about, and what the government is concerned about is their electricity usage. We had a case just a couple of weeks ago where the police were watching hydroponic stores and followed this woman home, surveilled her, SWAT teamed her. This has happened many, many times. It just happened a couple of weeks ago again, but I, I heard these stories 20 years ago. This has been going on for a very long time. How do we rein in this criminal government? Let's go to uh, your calls, uh, John in Texas. You had something you wanted to say about Harry Reid. Go ahead. Hello, David. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I uh, I was listening to Greg Pallast on a radio show last night, and he just dropped a little diamond for us. Uh, apparently, you may already know this, of course, but uh, Harry Reid was instrumental in acquiring the, the rights to a gold mine for a Canadian corporation called Barrick. Yes. Who paid? They paid a little under ten thousand dollars to the U.S. Treasury for this gold mine, which had an estimated value of ten billion dollars in gold ore. Well, yeah, so, amazing. Yeah, hang, hang on, we'll come right back to you. That's what we see happening. As I mentioned, he he did the deal with ENN, gave them the stuff for ten cents on the dollar. You're talking about Barrick, the guy who was very much involved with Barrick, very high in their company is the father 
of Harry Reid's chief staffer, who is now the director of the BLM. We'll be right back with your calls. Hang on. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you. Passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the survival seed vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic. Helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro EM1 as part of your daily routine, puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866 369 3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T E R A G A N I X.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we've been taking your calls. We have a call coming up that you're not going to want to miss. It's Clive and Bundy. We're establishing contact with him right now. And I want to get his response to what we see uh, Harry Reid calling people who were there last week in support of their liberties and his liberties, calling them domestic terrorists. We broke this story last night on uh, InfoWars a, the Harry Reid press conference. Let's, let's run that sound clip right now, guys, if you can run that for me. 
And then there's also a story that came uh, today from a Homeland Security advisor, and Lisa Monaco. And she is now saying if your children are confrontational, they might become terrorists. Let's play the uh, Harry Reid clip. So these people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. And I think that we are a country that people should follow the law. And what went up in Mesquite is not very good. I repeat, what went on up there is domestic terrorism. Okay, Ter domestic terrorism, not tourism. Uh, community members saw warning signs, but they didn't see them as an indicator uh, of a problem. Whether it was a teacher uh, hearing from a student that they were uh, interested in traveling abroad uh, to fight, uh, whether it was a parent seeing a kid being more confrontational, we have to learn together and educate community members and trusted community members who can come uh, and uh, intervene and point that uh, usually youth uh, to, a, to a different path. There we go. Now, uh, we've got Clive and Bundy on the phone. Uh, Mr. Bundy, thank you for joining us. I'm happy to be here. Now, I, were you able to hear those last two clips that we played of Harry Reid call, calling you and uh, everybody that was there last week, domestic terrorists? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> It would be funny if it wasn't so dangerous, sir. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It don't sound very funny to me, but, you know, I, I say, Harry, I guess you are right. We are upset uh, citizens, and uh, we are, uh, I guess, in a riot-type mood. But we are doing it in a peaceful way with a lot of, you know, lots of inspiration and love and a lot of courage. And that's how Kevlar is able to fa face Harry's army. And uh, back them down. It's not because we're uh, uh, militant. That's right. You know, uh, uh, yeah, riot type thing. It's because we we have faith and we we're looking for freedom and liberty. I have to commend you and your family. I, I didn't see anybody threatening anyone else. Uh, you know, a, a terrorist by definition is somebody who uses fear, who uses the threat of violence, or you who uses violence to achieve political means. You guys were not doing that. Uh, that day, we had a, uh, that Saturday morning, I had an 8 o'clock interview with you. And when I got there, I was told that uh, it was going to not happen because the sheriff had called and the family was in prayer. And when Ammon came up and addressed the crowd, he said, uh, we've been uh, praying about this and thinking about this. And uh, we don't have any fear about this. Uh, you are not going to be terrorized. Uh, but he said, and he said, we don't need to take guns even to uh, throughout any of this. So I'm asking people not to carry guns. I, I really admire your family's calm resolve and and uh, just just backbones of steel, and yet a very very meek spirit like we see from people like Ron Paul. Well, thank you. It's only you know that's about all I can say. And you realize it's not just me. It's it's not just my family. There's, you know, there are hundreds of people with the same attitude and the same spirit. And, you know, that's what's so uh, uh, overwhelming is the fact that there are so many people and the spirit's the same. And they're, yes, you know, they're peaceful. They, they love and I mean, lovely, uh, lovely, I guess, is a good expression. They are lovely. It, it really disturbs me to see the media, uh, people we had, uh, Reuters, Building this up today, the way they wrote this piece, it sounded like the only people who were armed were uh, the demonstrators who were there. Uh, very few, if any of them, were armed down in the val in the gully there, and uh, and yet never talked about the federal government being armed. Never talked about the federal government pointing rifles at people for the longest time, and uh, just essentially tried to make the federal government look like they were being. Uh, reasonable, rational, and and we were an angry mob. That clearly wasn't the case, but. I want to ask you about this because, as I said, I, I watched your family. I, I was very impressed with uh, the way they conducted themselves. Uh, you, you trained them very well. We just had this story break today. White House counterterrorism chief, and you heard this clip, she was saying that confrontational children might be terrorists. And she's warning people as someone in Homeland Security that if, they're, if they find their children being confrontational, that uh, they might grow up to be terrorists. As somebody who's raised 14 children, uh, I want to get a, a, a take from you right after we come back from the break. Uh, I wonder if you ever had a child who was confrontational to you. 
I bet you did. See, this is coming from Lisa Monaco. She doesn't have any children, but we're going to talk to somebody who has 14 children right after the break. And I tell you, he raised them well. I saw them last week. We'll be right back with Clive and Bundy. We're on the march.